Hello everyone, Justin Vakula here for a 2023 recording of My Vegas Games. I'm going to cover multiple free-to-play games here to teach you how to get very low-cost or low-time-involved rewards for Las Vegas, Borgata, MGM National Harbor, and many other casinos. After about two, three years of playing these games, I've achieved incredible value, including free rooms, dining comps, free slot play, blackjack match play, and much more. Really easy to play, easy to win system here. So here we'll start at what's called now My Vegas Classic, which I've called My Vegas Facebook. So we have multiple games. This one is on Facebook. There's another My Vegas game that's on mobile. And later in the video, we'll talk about games like My Konami, My Blackjack, Pop, or sorry, My Vegas Blackjack, Pop Slots, MGM slots and so much more. So first we'll start at My Vegas Classic here on Facebook. As you log in, you'll see an inbox where you'll get messages for free chips from friends. You can select friends here to send them free chips. Select all send gifts. Go through and send these gifts. You'll get these pop-ups. We're just going to ignore these. We don't have to actually make any purchases here to, at least when starting. Earn, earn loyalty points that we'll talk about. This is the currency, these gold coins, these yellow coins, whatever. You need this currency in order to get rewards. So here, this window will pop up every three hours. We'll get free chips. Not the most important thing, but as you'll see, just starting out, it can be a little bit volatile and that you can go broke. But after playing this game for such a long time, I have 10 billion chips, so it's very difficult, if not impossible, to go broke. And we're starting the game I start in the morning, I go to what's called my strip. When you're new to the game, the strip won't be full, but as you play, you'll build properties here. You'll just go and scroll across the strip, click these little bubbles, and you'll get free loyalty points in some cases and free chips that help you stay in the game. At a later level, it's not as necessary to do this, but it just takes maybe a minute or so to just click all these properties on the strip to collect the chips and get loyalty points. So we'll just scroll through here. It's somehow snowing on the strip. All kinds of properties. We'll just go ahead and click, 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 click. I have a fast mouse, so it's easier to do this. I'll just click and drag the properties to open this. As starting, the strip will be barren, but as you play, you'll unlock properties. There's some loyalty points added to the balance, some more loyalty points. They've updated some of the graphics and some of the names of the game, some of the terminology over time video recorded about a year ago looked a little bit different. So here we'll continue clicking. You see these timers here will show you when these properties refresh. I'm not too hyper about it, checking like every hour. What I'll normally do is just click all these properties in the morning. I'll put the game on auto spin as we'll see, just put it off to the side, let it go in the background on my second monitor, and just have it passively collecting after the original clicking here. <clears throat> oh, oh, that's not good. Yeah, unfortunately some pop-ups can happen there and can take away from the game. So, so we'll have to reload here. So as you see, we'll just go to apps.facebook.com slash playmyvegas. You can bookmark this as I do. I use a separate browser for these games. I'll use Firefox for this. I'll use Opera for my Konami and I'll use the Brave browser for just general browsing to try to just keep this separate as sometimes depending on your computer specs or laptop specs whatever you have it can overload and the games just don't load properly so i think using them in different browsers is a pretty good thing so here we'll go back to the main menu back to the inbox you can gift your friends mine's glitched for some reason i try to gift but it doesn't actually do anything not really sure why that happens but not too important so here on the main list they'll give us a list of games I have a favorites tab. I've saved the game Lotus Land. I think this is one of the better games to play because it doesn't involve a bonus round where you actually have to click the screen. It just goes automatically. Here on the left side, there's a challenge meter. As you play, you'll get bonuses for completing certain objectives. Up here, experience doesn't matter. That doesn't actually give you anything real. Chatted about the loyalty points. You need those to get the rewards. Over here, the chips. We're going to spin. I put it at minimum bet, 75,000 and just click the auto spin button. As a certain amount of spins are in, the loyalty points meter grows. 
and we earn these rewards. It's based on the time in the game, it's based on the spin, there are all kinds of different things, but with such a high chip balance, there's no reason to bet really big. We can just bet very small, and over time we earn the loyalty points. At 20 million, I can afford anything multiple times, so it's really not an issue. I think the cruises are some of the most expensive, but I still have lots and lots of loyalty points to buy that. So I'm um, just continue playing, even though I have lots of loyalty points, because they might add more to the game, change the rules. Wherever's the case, we'll get into the rewards later in the video. So pretty simple here. We see another challenges meter as we complete certain challenges. We gain bonus chips to help us stay in the game. And over here is a meter. We can hit this pop it thing, but it has us spend money to do that. So we're just going to ignore that. It can make sense to spend money in the game. We'll get into that a little bit later. So this is the basics of my Vegas Classic or My Vegas Facebook. As you're new to the game, there'll be a lot more pop-ups. Congratulations, you've hit level four, level five, whatever. You'll just have to hit the X on those, and after maybe an hour or two, then you won't be interrupted as much. So that's My Vegas. We'll drag the next game onto the screen, My Konami. This game will reset around 11 Eastern, 11 p.m. Eastern. And you'll see this daily bonus comes on the screen. So I'm at 1,315 days of playing. I make sure to load this game every day. And when I'm at home, I'm just having these games go in the background for the most part. And when I'm on the go, I just have multiple devices to run these games. So here, day five, we get bonus for logging in every day. We get a daily bonus wheel spin. These games are all connected in a way, whereas the chip balances are different, but all the loyalty points sync between the games. This window is a little bit bigger for some reason, um, but that's all right. So we get VIP points for spinning the wheel. Um, seem to be capped at VIP four. I'd have to make purchases to get higher than that, but it really doesn't matter too much. And we're going to get some pop-ups to buy chips. Again, we're going to ignore those. Ignoring the pop-ups. Um, just starting, it might make sense to spend a dollar or two to get a lot of chips to stay in the game, but if you're patient, you'll see you'll get more. There's a page on Facebook called My Vegas Advisor where you can click links to get free chips and eventually they'll start sending you emails to open and get free chips. So here after 11, we click this button for daily challenges. I try to complete these daily challenges every day. It's not super important. Sometimes I get interrupted with travel where I'm not able to spin as much. I don't have internet connection, whatever the case. So here, spin 100 times, click an hourly bonus two times, win 68 million chips. So you get bonus chips for doing this. Not super important, but if you can do it, you might as well. Every two hours, we get an hourly bonus of chips here. And the interface is pretty similar. We have XP, which really doesn't matter. Here we have tickets. Once you get to 10,000 tickets, you can redeem them for additional rewards by clicking. You can redeem them at lower levels too, but at 10K, you'll get the most bang for your buck. Here's the chip balance. I have about 3 billion chips, very hard to get broke, and the loyalty points balance syncs with the other games. Down here you'll see the rewards. We'll get into that later. And these other things just uh, mostly ignore. But I will go to the favorites tab here. I favorited the game Classy Roses Color Bloom. It's another game that doesn't have you click for a bonus round. I believe Lotus Land is in here as well, but this one is just fine too. So we'll go ahead and it starts us at a very high spin amount. So we'll just lower the spin amount. Just make sure to do that every time. Put it on turbo for faster spins and you just auto spin to win there are some events up here you can increase your bets you can go to different games and try to complete the events for bonus chips but it's more engagement it's more time and it risks going broke so nowadays i just ignore the events i have gone broke in the past it was shocking to see that but it happens so i'll just leave this in the background now depending on your chip balance you can keep this spinning all day or you can just play, complete the daily challenges and be done with it, but just keep an eye on your chip balance. But spinning at 100K per spin should be very difficult to go broke. So down here, the daily challenges meter is filling. So at least try to finish the daily challenges once per day or just have it spinning in the background. It's the power of a second monitor, power of having a good computer that you could run these games all at the same time. All right, next up, I'm going to bring blue stacks in so blue stacks is software that you can use on your desktop computer and some laptops might support it as well where you can run games that are traditionally made for mobile phone 
So it is an emulator of sorts that instead of playing on mobile phones, you can go ahead and play games on your desktop or laptop. So you'll have to install the games first by going into My Games, Google Play. All this is relating to Android for me. There are some changes between different Apple versions of the game, but for this purpose in this video, we'll just talk about the Android and the Facebook game here, My Vegas Classic and My Konami, which also runs through browser. So here I have different games installed. We'll go ahead and start with Pop Slots. Hopefully this loads. Sometimes it's a little bit buggy, it crashes, but hopefully it works for the purposes of video today. Pop Slots, it's syncing the loyalty points balance from the other games. So we're going to want to play all these games every day as much as we can to at least hit the capacity of loyalty points rewards. Now I'm going to talk about loyalty points cap or capacity that we can only earn a certain amount in a certain time period. My Vegas Facebook and my Konami do not appear to cap you at any point. You could just keep earning, except my Konami will cap you on mobile at a certain point. The loyalty point meter will gray out and you will earn no more. So here is Pop Slots. As you see, there's a meter here that is growing. And this game is really generous because you don't actually have to play the game in order to gain loyalty points. You can just sit in the lobby. Um, some people report being timed out that occasionally they'll have to click something or do something. Um, we collect some bonus chips, but this really doesn't matter. I have an absurd amount of chips, but what I'm mainly doing with Pop Slots is just sitting in the lobby and letting this meter grow. So it's, it's just really simple. You have this going in blue stacks. Maybe you have some older phones that connect to Wi-Fi. Whatever the case, I went ahead and bought all of these OK phones where there were some promotions from carriers like Boost Mobile, Mint Mobile. They were giving out free phones if you sign up for service. In most cases, you could just sign up for service for one month and cancel. And there can be a lot of different uses for actually having a real phone number. So you can make your money back on that by using certain referrals or signing up for other programs. But anyway, as you see, the loyalty point meter is growing and we're about to gain loyalty just by sitting in the lobby. Time bonus 100. So I believe it goes up to about 2000. Maybe it takes about an hour, an hour and a half to hit the cap. And it will put a check mark on the screen here and you'll no longer earn. So according to my experiences here on the East Coast, it's going to reset around 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. So you can run pop slots in the morning and then you could run it again in the evening after 8 p.m. and you'll have a whole new loyalty point meter that is growing. So pretty simple. I don't mess with the other games. I don't spin really no reason to unless you're actually having fun doing it for some reason. I don't. I just put these in the background and earn the points. So that's Pop Slots, uh, very easy there. My Vegas Blackjack, it's a similar concept. This is also a mobile game, but I'm running it for you here on BlueStacks, a great program that you can download to run these games on your computer. You can try running multiple games at the same time in BlueStacks, but I haven't had much success with that. They would just crash. So running one at a time and then just having a desk of older phones running these games off to the side is the way I'm doing it. But Blue Stacks is also a good way to at least run one game at a time. So as this will load, we will see that the interface will be similar. We'll see the loyalty points meter, we'll see chips, but you don't really need to play the game. You don't really need to play Blackjack. Now in the past I said, okay, you can go ahead and play maybe 10 hands a day to get bonus loyalty points over time and get bonus chips, but I've just mainly skipped on that. You can hit this collect button on the bottom right to gain bonus chips every two hours. Not necessary. As you see, we're in the lobby and the loyalty points meter is growing. Some people on Apple devices say that they need to actively be playing the game in order to gain the loyalty points. So they'll just tap every so often. Or as you see on the bottom here, you can go to a slots tab and auto spin slots, which should keep that meter going. Should different devices, different experiences from people here. In the bottom right, it allows you to watch a video to earn bonus loyalty points. So this can make sense. You can have this going in the background and click this watch video on your second monitor and just let it go and then hit the X once the video is over. Or you could do that on a separate device. But as your loyalty points grow, there's less reason to do that. It's just a little bit more of your time. So mainly you're just sitting in the lobby, you're letting the loyalty point meter grow. 
and it will keep growing until it times out. So the reset on this is a little weird because sometimes I see it refreshing around like 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Sometimes it's not growing. As you see, it's it's still going now for purposes of recording. I did not play last night, play in quotes, sitting in the lobby. I let this grow. So over time, you'll see the meter will grow. You will earn loyalty points. So very similar to pop slots here, running points through the lobby. And if for some reason the loyalty points meter isn't growing, you can just auto spin slots and occasionally click the screen. So pretty easy here. My Vegas Blackjack will go on to My Vegas Mobile. This is similar to the Facebook game, except of course it's on mobile and it's also a different counter for loyalty points. So you can run your My Konami game in the background, you can run your My Vegas Facebook game in the background, and you can run My Vegas Mobile in addition to Pop Slots and My Vegas Blackjack, all earning loyalty points. So at a point when you get used to how these systems work, it's really trivial to earn say 20,000, maybe 50,000 loyalty points a day, which will really get you close towards most rewards that we'll get into later, especially at Borgata, Las Vegas, MGM National Harbor. Doing this for a few weeks to a month, you'll be in great position to make money and save money, which I'm all about. People talk about travel being expensive. Oh, it's expensive going to Vegas. This is all nonsense. We can do certain things like this to save money and make money. If you tune into my Hurdy Gurdy Travel podcast, that's H U R D Y G U R D Y travel.com, you can find the podcast episodes and much more to learn how to travel at next to no cost using credit card rewards, loyalty programs, and much more in addition to these games. Hopefully, this will load pretty soon and we'll be ready to go to continue explaining this. Again, having the multiple devices is a tremendous boon. You can maybe find some old phones on eBay, maybe phones that have some screen damage, maybe phones that have a busted mic. We're not going to need a microphone. We're not going to need sound on a phone. So if the speaker's not working, some people might be selling phones for maybe $10, $20 on eBay. As long as you can have the phone connect to Wi-Fi you'll be good to go as long as there's storage and the phone isn't too, too old. I suppose over time, the older phones won't support these apps as they continue to update and have more system demand. And as you see, the, the loading screen here <laughs> isn't going very good for purposes of this video. Uh, we'll try to reset it here and hopefully we'll load just fine. And while we're loading, another game is My Vegas Bingo. That, for some reason, wasn't loading at all for me on Bluestacks. It's a very similar concept compared to My Vegas Blackjack and Pop Slots, is that you sit in the lobby and you earn loyalty points. With My Vegas Bingo, there is a tutorial. You have to play through the tutorial in order to unlock the lobby to gain loyalty points. So it's a little bit of a time commitment up front, maybe 15, 20 minutes to get past the tutorial. You actually have to play Bingo for a few rounds and then you unlock the lobby so you could start earning loyalty points. You're getting my seat ready. If this will load, it can maybe help to shut down programs going in the back, but I've closed most things. Sometimes Bluestack, as I believe I mentioned, Bluestacks isn't always so reliable. But there isn't too much to see with My Vegas slots. It's similar to the other games, except you actually have to auto spin, and then maybe after an hour, an hour and a half, it will time you out and you will not earn loyalty points anymore. We're loading a bit, but it doesn't seem to be going too much here. So we'll go ahead and just pass on this one. Not too much to see. We'll move on to MGM Slots Live, which is a Pop Slots clone in some ways, similar to the other games where you just earn points sitting in the lobby. Hopefully this one loads. Um, not so good for video that the other one didn't, but what can you do? Here, we'll just click off the ads. We don't need it. You can hit the back button on your phone as well, but we actually have to click the X here on the screen to get through them. So you get three ads, whatever. We have a collection button on the bottom right, not super important. They're just chips that we're not going to use because we're just going to sit in the lobby. As you see, the loyalty points meter is growing. We're just sitting in the lobby here of MGM Slots Live. Very, very easy. After about an hour, an hour and a half or so, it will just not earn anymore. 
and this game resets similar to my Vegas, similar to pop slots, sorry. It will reset around 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. so you can fill the meter twice per day here on the East Coast anyway. So pretty simple. If for some reason the loyalty point meter is not growing, particularly if you're on an Apple device, you might need to actually go and play slots. Um, you can go in the live rooms, pick whatever casino you want to play in, and you'll have to actually sit at a machine and spin if the loyalty point meter is not growing. Or you'll get into a live game here where you can get some bonuses. But not too important. I'm not really concerned with actually playing these games. If I can just sit in the lobby and earn, just having it go in the background, I'm very happy. So for my purposes, that's good. So that's the games right there. So we'll go ahead and navigate back to My Vegas Facebook. We'll take this game off auto spin and we'll talk about the rewards. So we'll go back to the home page and try to get there. Okay, so we go under loyalty points. We'll click on the loyalty points. What's odd is that the rewards will show different locations and different rewards based on the game that you're in. My Vegas will show most of them. My Konami sometimes will have exclusive rewards to My Konami. And then there's something called My Konami Free Play, where you can redeem your loyalty points for $25 in free play. So we'll go ahead, we'll look categories, price, we can see all kinds of different rewards here. Go ahead and try to scroll back. If we go under the Partners tab, if it'll let us do that, we can see different locations. So we see Hilton, Caribbean, My Events, Norwegian, much more. I'm mostly concerned about the different casinos. So here, Borgata is really good for me as it's about an hour and a half drive to Atlantic City. Usually I'm there once per month and I could pick up some awesome rewards at Borgata. So here they have two for one buffet for 35,000 loyalty points. Trivial, trivial to earn 35,000 loyalty points. Just two games will get us there. Here we have a $25 dining credit for $40,000 and a free night for $75,000. Some notes on these rewards. It's advertised as a two-for-one buffet, but it just straight up loads comp balance to your account. So I believe last time they added something like $47 to my comp balance. So that was really fantastic as I can go to the Amphora Lounge at Borgata for only $12.50 with MGM Gold status. Much better than actually having to buy something and go with someone, I think. The $25 dining credit just adds to your comp balance. And the free room is a Monday through Thursday premium reward. So premium reward, you'll see this language. As a base player spending $0 in the game, you're only allowed to use three premium rewards every 30 days. If you spend around $75 to $100, you will unlock a fourth premium reward slot. This can make sense, especially if you're going to Las Vegas, where you can use premium rewards out there. You can go to other casinos that may or may not count premium rewards. You spend about 100, so after, say, four trips, you'll break even on your purchase. And there are a lot of ways to save money in actually spending on these premium rewards. There is an app, at least on Android devices, called Google Opinion Rewards that gives you short surveys. They'll say, which of these locations were you at last Friday? And you'll pick, oh, Staples. Oh, did you make a purchase at Staples? Yes. Did you pay with cash or credit? Credit. And you'll get like 80 cents for answering these second long surveys. This money goes in your Google Play balance and you can use the Google Play money to make these in-game purchases. So very, very low cost. You can also get Google Play gift cards, which sometimes are 10% off or greater. Load those to your balance. But Google Opinion Rewards will give you a decent boost. Back to the room reward, it's Monday through Thursday. You redeem the reward here and you have to call Borgata and give them the confirmation code that My Vegas gives you. So you'll call in, book the room, go there. You'll have to pay some taxes and fees. If you're MGM Gold or higher, you don't pay a resort fee. But in the worst scenario, if you're just brand new to MGM, you'll pay maybe a $40 resort fee, maybe $10, $15 in taxes. So you'll pay about 50 bucks for a night at Borgata, which can retail for $150 or more. So pretty good deal here, especially when considering the other two rewards. They also have a free parking reward if you don't have status. 
you can grab that and get free parking, which is nice. But it's sold out at the moment, which is an odd thing about these games that the rewards sell out. So every so often you'll just have to check back and see if the rewards are back in stock. Some of them never replenish. It's strange. Here we can scroll over. We can see other partners, other properties. We see a lot here for Las Vegas, including Park MGM, which I really like because Park MGM has some good food offers. Here's one appetizer on us. Starting your meal with a delicious appetizer is a must. Purchase an entree, receive a complimentary appetizer at La La Noodle. So these appetizers usually go for about $15, and you can use your MGM comps to pay for this, stacking with the My Vegas Rewards. You can also charge to your room, possibly get some extra tier credits for doing so, and just pay it off at the end of your stay, assuming you're staying with MGM. In Vegas, these non-premium rewards you can buy up and get something like 20 non-premium food rewards and your three or four premium rewards and easily save more than 200 300 dollars per trip that's just looking at the food rewards we see another appetizer we see another appetizer here um, some of these restaurants you could just walk into others you'll have to make reservations we see some free play rewards. Now these free play rewards generally need a paid stay. As it says, minimum three night paid stay is required to receive $100 in free play. So usually my thoughts are looking at the properties and seeing what the cheapest one is. My Las Vegas trip, I went to Luxor and paid for multiple nights or Excalibur and paid for multiple nights. And I was able to pick up the $100 in free play. So with low room rates, you're getting the $100 back. It's really fantastic. Here, Park MGM, see two complimentary nights. This one's a little bit more complicated because you'll get a code and it will send you to MGM portal and you have to see if the rooms are available. Sometimes certain days are not available if there are major events, if it's a sporting event, if it's a major holiday. So there are a little bit of restrictions on the free nights, but you just have to experiment and see what works. If you book the two night reward, you can go ahead and just cancel and get a new one. There's also a website, My Vegas Advisor, which I believe I mentioned. You can go there and see what the comp calendar looks like before you purchase. So here are a lot of rewards at Park MGM. $25 match plays, pretty good for blackjack. There's also a $15 match play on there. And as I mentioned, a lot of the locations have $25 slots slot play. So here MGM Grand, they have buy one, get one buffets. Enjoy one complimentary breakfast buffet with the purchase of a full price breakfast buffet. So this would run you about $50 for two people, which is pretty decent. And you can use your comps as well, as I mentioned, and some other MGM grand. There are some show tickets, 50% off show tickets, buy one, get one. So a lot of options. We'll move over to Aria. The Aria rewards aren't so great right now, but there is a complimentary night here. There is some free play if you have a paid stay. Bellagio also has a buy one, get one buffet currently sold out. Free play with a paid stay. Continue to scroll through. You can see some different partners. Uh, Luxor should be in here, but I'm not seeing it on my Vegas right up oh, There it is. Okay, so Luxor is another one I really like. This is $20 off 40 at Public House. A free appetizer at Public House with the purchase of an entree. Some of these will have you make a minimum purchase. Public House is usually you have to spend $40 to get the free item. So they would take it off that. Or the 20 off of 40 here. <clears throat> or the free item might be spending around $20. It depends. It changes sometimes. $20 off of 40 at Diablo's Cantina. That's another really good reward. And here are the free play rewards. Minimum three nights stay for $100. $50 for a two night stay. Really, really awesome. So even if you spend the, say, $7,500 to get the fourth premium reward slot, and some say they have to spend in order to see the two complimentary night rewards, you'll easily get your money back. Very little effort in this game to play, in quotes. Just have the games auto spinning and get your rewards. As you'll see, I can minimize this. Go back to my Konami, and look, it's been spinning in the background the entire time and my loyalty points meter is growing. The daily challenge meter is getting there. So hopefully this has been informative. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Unfortunately, you couldn't see My Vegas Mobile, My Vegas Bingo here today, but the games operate similar to the other ones. So it's just about learning when the 
LP timers reset, what you need to do every day or optionally do every day, and you'll get enough loyalty points to make and save some money. I also mentioned cruises are an option here. Every so often there'll be five night, seven night cruises that you can take. You'll just have to pay the port taxes and fees in most cases, but still a very good deal. I went on one with Royal Caribbean for maybe 1.5 million LP, and I was very happy with it. So lots of opportunity here in my Vegas. It's, it's a must for Las Vegas visitors. It's a must for people local to Borgata, MGM National Harbor, MGM Grand Detroit, several other properties that are in here. There's 400 loyalty points for doing nothing, except for loading these games and putting it on auto spin. So very easy. Hopefully you'll soon join the club of having an impressive amount of loyalty points and enjoy the rewards. Thanks for listening. Check out my podcast at hurdygurdytravelpodcast.com. That's H-U-R-D-Y-G-U-R-D-Y podcast.com. Hurdygurdytravel.com. Have a good day.